Well, good morning, guys. Um, thanks for watching the last video. It's kind of a better night last night, but not the best. <laughs> um, it's rainy and cold today. Figured I'd give you like an actual vlog since uh, the last one wasn't much of a video, but I feel like it needed to be said. You know, just um, want the inter information out there, you know. Don't want people to, to mess it up. So uh, here we are. Had some breakfast. You know, whatever I can get. Now I'm making this green uh, drink thing. It's pretty good. Ran out of medicine. Waiting on the doctor to get some medicine. But, um... Yeah, I'll probably do more DoorDash. It's raining today, so... Uh, we're supposed to have a meeting with this company. I don't know what happened. Hence the... The freaking call center, like... McDonald's, can I take your order headset? I look like a... I'm in Star Wars. So, yeah. That's today. Um, card really needs an oil change. I need a shower. Probably need to clean my car. My freaking underwear ripped a hole in it because I got out and I was like sitting on my belt buckle, my pants, and uh, I was just trying to pull my pants out from under my butt, you know, my butt cheeks just sitting on it. So I was trying to pull my pants out, and it, and the somehow the other end of the belt buckle ripped a hole in my underwear. So it's like, jeez, man, I'm like I don't. Like, I should just, like, freaking buy clothes and then just throw them away and then get buy new clothes. But, <laughs> that's another thing that needs to be fixed, my clothes situation. So, uh, give you an actual vlog today and, um, you know, some things I've been thinking about for, uh, DoorDash. What DoorDash actually needs to do to implement in their company. Or... I think. Maybe they already do. Or maybe they don't. Maybe they just... Yeah. I don't know. Oh, this stuff is pretty good. For everything that has in it. Pretty good stuff. Oh! F There's green powder all over my pants! <laughs> had some Taco Bell. Oh, uh, no healthy, right? But then look at this. <laughs> it's a sauce packet that was just like, it's just a packet. There's nothing in it. <laughs> it's flattened. What the heck? At this uh, Starbucks parking lot using the Wi-Fi. And I uh, just found out that DoorDash gave me an extra 15 bucks because of a gas thing gas program rewards last week you earned an extra 15 bucks you earn an extra five bucks when you accept and complete orders over 100 miles and that's 25.4 miles per gallon at an extra 1.27 per gallon i guess i mean i use premium so no premium bonus, but I mean, it's something, I guess. Yeah, that's crazy that they did that. Oh, I'm glad that they do that. It should be more, though. <laughs> I mean, the 15 bucks isn't that much. Like, 300 miles? 
Like how many miles per gallon? Divide that by ten. So that's three miles. So that's three miles. Okay, so I think I figured it out here. So I did 300 divided by 30 because I was 300 miles, well, pretty much 297, uh, divided by 30 because I get about 30 miles per gallon, um, give or take. Sometimes it's 32, sometimes it's 28. And then um, so it equaled 10, obviously, <laughs> and then we took 10 divided by, or 10 times gas, I didn't even need a calculator for this, this is easy math, what the heck, but uh, 10 times 4.79999, and that came to 47.99, so I spent $47.99 in gas for that whole trip and they gave me freaking they gave me 15 bucks <laughs> here's 15 bucks here you go here's like some allowance you know when you like find that money under the couch <laughs> or your parents are just like here um you know here's thanks for your hard work here's here's five dollars Con congratulations you graduated the sixth grade. Here's five bucks. So I got back on the, oh my, is it even facing me? Oh, there we go. Whoa, it's blurry. So I got back on the, uh, jeez, so as you can tell, I got back on DoorDash, DoorDash in a way, and, uh, yeah, I've got 35 miles left, so I might be headed back. Kind of got me in the middle of the city right now, so I'm not really sure what to do. It just builds up and then it itches. Oh man. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is what DoorDash needs to do before I get kicked out of this freaking Golden Corral parking lot. Um, so they need to have one dedicated person. They get a uh, full salary. They get a full like corporate salary, or whatever that is, you know, just the uh, standard pay or whatever. They work full time and maybe they get a company car or whatnot, but they do DoorDash pretty much full time. They do deliveries and, uh, and then, or maybe not full time, but maybe like 30 hours or whatever or something like that. But they work, Primary del primarily deliveries every week and then um, their job is to report what they find wor report what doesn't work report what works all the app every piece of information you know needs to be recorded somehow I mean maybe not every piece but um, you know what I mean like a lot of it needs to be recorded so they should have one person that just does that consistently Maybe they do, I don't know. I haven't heard of anything like that. But um, yeah, they need one person that does that so consistently. Driving, 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 delivering, and they're like, oh, the app glitched at this part, the app needs to have this. 
and you know pretty much like us like what we do but nobody listens to us in corporate really unless there's a way that we could or maybe it's this maybe they're just watching all the youtubers and us complain and they're just getting free uh free feedback and free um information but i think that would be a really good idea just to have one person that's like that works in corporate but they do deliveries in uh busy air maybe in in their area i don't know where their corporate is uh uh oh san francisco or something like that so that'd be a good area like a good like busy hub you know like denver or seattle or san francisco or freaking uh texas austin you know miami i don't know about that but um where all the instagram influencers are i'm sure they order a lot of freaking doordash but yeah that's what they need to do and then they could build the app better instead of just like make these little incremental changes and then you know all the freaking corporate guys whining and complaining that they have to do one delivery they're like oh my god i gotta do one delivery yeah dude like we're out here doing like what did i do three uh how many ever last freaking week 35 no, i don't even know i can't remember but whatever you know <laughs> They should probably do one a month, honestly. Instead of one a year or whatever it is. But that's my suggestion to the Double D company. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. If uh, you're new here, I do a lot of car life, DoorDash, and um, just other stuff in general. About to go sleep in my car right now, so.